We're here at the QSC booth and we're taking a look at the Touch Mix 16, well, the Touch Mix system next on Geekazine. Hey everybody, Jeffrey Powers here, Geekazine.com, and we are here at the QSC booth. Now I've, uh, I'm here with John Graves here. Now you designed this this thing, right? I was one of the, the seven designers that, that built it, that came up with the idea and created the Touch Mix. Okay. Uh, my band uses QSC products, but you know our mixer is the only thing we haven't really upgraded uh, in a few years, and we've been looking at doing this type of thing. Also, as a podcaster, I, boards like these are there. There, lots of podcasters want to get them so they can uh, do mu more than just record one on one. So, tell us a little bit about this board. Well, let me. Uh, I'll give you a quick rundown here. The, the, just the specs of the board is this is a 16 mic line input, two stereo input, so it's a total of 20 inputs. Every input is full functional compressor gate four band parametric with a high and low shelf all all the big time features on every input it's so it's 16 in plus two stereos 20 in it's 12 out it is six mono outs two stereo outs and left and right uh, every mono out can be linked to be a stereo so you can end up with six stereo ear mixes if you wanted or you can do uh, individual mixes. But really what one of the best things that we've done on this is the way that this mixer sounds is a big part of this. The way the mic pre's and the way the A to D converters are, this, com this competes with any big mixer on its sound quality, which is typically not where all the small mixers go. So that's a big part of this. But what we've done here, this is really all about results. So the biggest part of what this mixer does is Besides being a great just mixer for you, if you're a novice user or you're a guy who's a great musician who doesn't really want to be an engineer, we've given you some amazing ideas here. So when you select a channel, you can go to the preset page. And what we've done is we've given you a number of presets that you can recall. And these presets are presets that we created over a few hundred hours in different environments with all PAs running. So these are actual usable presets. So you can go to your gig, pull up a drum sound by using these presets, and it will sound great. Now, if you're a great engineer, you can make them sound better. If you're not a great engineer, it'll sound the best that you had before. So this has all the potential to be a very simple to use mixer as well as a very intricate mixer. Um, the as, a, as a band, we, we make, actually mix on stage. Right. So uh, mixing on stage sometimes can be problematic uh, and for these mixers, especially when you can connect up other devices to it to control, it helps. This this mixer you can use uh, up to 12 i things because it uses both Android and uh, i. You can give each guy in the band his own mix and lock out the other mixes. You have a security system. So, for instance, the drummer can get his mix and not get someone else's mix so that he can't be messing with the singer. Now, the one thing I am a drummer, and the one thing that I like is uh, whenever I when I have to tell a sound guy something, it's like make it sound like you hear it in the front. This is a results-based piece of, piece of work. That's what this is. This is maybe one of the only mixers that not only will sound great, but actually makes you sound great without having to know all the things that a great mixer, because anybody with a good mixer can make you sound great oh, yeah. if, you, if you have the chops. This one gives you the option to sound great maybe if you don't have just that many chops. So there you go. Now, what about recording? How, uh, let's say I wanted to uh, record uh, separate tracks or the, record together? This will do up to 22 tracks in broadcast wave. So it does multi-track and all, just straight to a hard drive. You plug a hard drive in, you go and you arm the tracks, you hit record, and you can record your show while you're playing your show. This is 32-bit and it's 40, 44 one or 48, either one. It, this has four effects engines on it, and the effects on this were actually our models of Lexicon and, and Yamaha. So you've got four very high quality effects, stuff that you also don't typically find in a small mixer like this. So four effects engines that don't use any uh, up any of the aux sends. But you do have different models. This is the 16 track, right? the 16, right? and there is an eight, an eight channel as well. The 16 channel, the, the, the TM16 is a 20 input desk and the TM8 is a 12 input desk. What are the prices? The prices on this is uh, $12.99 for this, and the 8 is $8.99. QSC.com for more information? Absolutely, QSC.com for more information. All right, well, thank you very much for your time. My pleasure. There you go. If you are a musician, if you're a podcaster, if you are doing anything audio, um, even in the boardroom, Jeffrey Powers with Geekazine. You guys geek out. We'll see you at the next one at NAM 2016.